Hi, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use displacement maps. Um, so, let's get started. I've got a picture of a man here, and I've got some text. And what we want to do is wrap this text around the um, contours of this man's face. So, um, first things to talk about with displacement maps, it's good to have images that are the same size, so these are both 1000 by 1000 pixels. Um, the next thing is, you have to create a displacement map. Now the displacement map will be uh, black and white, and it will, what you want to display, so we want to display this text, it will display according to the grey values um, within that black and white image. So, I'll show you what I mean. First of all, we need to create a map, so I'm going to duplicate this layer, a new, and we'll call it map. Okay, now to this, I'm going to apply a gradient map, and we'll just do a black to white, and that will um, make sure that this is a black and white image, which I'm pretty sure it is anyway, but just in case. And I'm also going to um, give this a levels adjustment and um, pull this black over until it gets past that clip in and the white can stay as it is. So now we didn't want all that uh, grey at the side. I'll show you what I mean. We didn't want all that noise, noisy grey. So we pull the black in. Okay, then we can uh, save this off. File, save as and I'll call this map2 because I've done one earlier practicing this save and we can get rid of that now to this we need to drag it into our text document hold down shift so it lands dead center pull it underneath on the text layer we can convert it to a smart object or a smart filter it doesn't matter then we're going to go filter distort displace you're going to choose a horizontal and a vertical scale. I found that with this image, 20 and 20, there's 20 pixels on each, um, works fine. Okay, so click OK, it asks us to pick our map. We choose map 2, click open, and it displaces it. Now we can't see much at the time, we can see it's been displaced, but if I change this to overlay, you can see that it's now hang on, overlay you can see that it's displaced over the image. Now, just to smarten this up a little bit, we'll add a layer mask, we'll get our brush tool, and we'll just brush out the wording around the side. A quick way to do this would just be to get a mask and roughly. And we're gonna bring down the opacity of the layer. And I'm also gonna mask the eyes. Okay, now we press Control Enter, and on that, uh, mask foreground is black so we'll do alt delete to fill it with black control D to deselect and then bring the opacity back up now put that let's try let's just put a hue and adjustment hue saturation adjustment layer colorize let's make it kind of blue like so and then we can also add maybe on underneath the hue adjustment add a curves and just increase the contrast but make them blacks really darker and we wanna just add a bit around the ears there and there you go so that's how you create a displacement map. Now, the reason I changed the document or the layer that we was going to use um, to displace uh, to a smart filter is because now we can reopen that displacement and we can change the scale, the vertical or some of the um, properties if we needed to. We can also open up the layers blending mode. So there you go, that's how you use a displacement map. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.